Hi, this is Thunder E from MotorWorld.com and welcome to our AMD APU Trinity build. So this is the A10 um, 500 series, uh, 5800 series APU. This is an FM2 socket APU, so definitely you'll be using a different board. Now, this is the same chassis we used for our, our um, uh, previous APU, the A8, and uh, it has a different board we have to use because it's a different socket type. Uh, this, this is a Gigabyte F2A 85X-UP4 board, supports the A10 uh, APU um, chipset. Um, this board also, the, the good thing about this, at least the fan, is actually, you can see you use the same fan from uh, your, your, from the F1, FM1 chipset, which I'm using that. So you can see the form of thermal face here, which I have to wipe off, but that is uh, from my previous build. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put in the chip and I'm gonna screw the board down. Uh, it should be a very simple process. And open this up. So taking out our chipset, as you can see right here. And I'll bring this closer so you guys can see. And uh, see how that works. So pulling this out, see the see what you have with your chip is you have this little marker indicator that shows you where to place it on the board. And you just place it where the marker is on the board. Drop. Very simple. Very simple process. And lock your chip into place. So you have that there. As you can see, this is a board that I can use to test. If I wanted to just do, uh, have this on the table and have this as a testing board, I can do that. Go over some of the things you have on the board here again. Um, you know, this supports DDR3 up to uh, 32 gigabytes here. You have four DIMM slots. You've got, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that six serial ATA ports right here. And you guys can see that. Uh, you've also got two PCI Express ports, so you can actually are run crossfire from individual cards or crossfire with the APU itself. Now, in terms of USB 3.0, uh, another thing too, this actually supports uh, the uh, Virtu Lucid, um, so it actually helps your uh, graphical performance of your system. Now, in terms of ports on the side here, we do have, of course, your complement of audio ports here. Uh, we do have, of course, one, two, three, four, four USB uh, 3.0 here, and also we have six on the board. And we got two USB 2.0 here, and we have eight on the board. We have a digital optical out, VGA, DVI, HDMI out, um, as well uh, as serial, uh, serial um, ESAT. And of course, you got your Ethernet port here. So this is a very solid board overall. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it and screw it down into the case. And after screwing it down to the case, we'll add our memory. And of course, we'll also lock in our fan in there and make sure we have that in. So there'll be some music while we go ahead and, and put this in. So before that, make sure, of course, you do have your pegs, which you already have from our previous case build. And we're just going to slide this in here and drop into place. Now, we do have to change this out it's from, from, from a board. Use the new one that matches.
fans connected I have my memory connected and now I need to connect all my varying ports now the easiest way and the most sensible thing to do here is to take the gigabyte installation guide that you're given so you use a manual so you can find exactly where you need to connect every port in so I'm going to look at this and connect it in a second all right, so you can see we have everything connected and intact. Our fans there secure. We've also included our uh, GPU, which is of course a Gigabyte 6670. We're actually not going to be using that first. We'll be running the APU first to just show you some how it works. Of course, we have our memory installed. We have our connectors plugged in. So what we have here is uh, it's an upgrade build. We upgraded from our A8. Um, APU to of course our Trinity um, A10 APU here and uh, we did an upgrade where the main parts we only changed were the Gigabyte board we went from uh, our previous board to the uh, Gigabyte GA F to A F X dash UP4 and of course the A10 um, Trinity APU everything else was the same so you still had the same power supply we kept the same memory we kept the same um, SSD and hard drive so we had all those intact as we made changes and so we're going to power this up and let's see how it looks like all right so now that we've set up our system this is our the BIOS setting for the gigabytes um, uh, GF2A 8F XUP4 motherboard for the uh, Trinity APU of course it's the FM2 board now um, you want to set up dual graphics and of course we saw that we had also the the uh, and the ATI uh, 6770 uh, card in there so uh, the BIOS settings are a little different to set up uh, dual graphics and actually if you read your manual you can find it in there but first of all you go into the BIOS you want to go to peripherals which would be the fourth one down you move all the way to graphics configuration which is the second to the last yeah I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can take a better look in primary video uh, video device, you keep that as it is, whatever the settings are, NB, uh, PCI. In integrated graphics, you change that to forced. So you go here from auto disable and change it to force. And then an UMA uh, frame buffer, you go and you change that to from to 512 megabytes and up. So I put it on one gigabyte, uh, which I think is the max that the card will push. But uh, you can do 512 and up, whatever um, fits what you're looking for. And then you want to save and exit. Save configuration. Now, once you do that um, in your ATI settings within the system, you want to enable, um, you know, uh, dual graphics. Or you want to enable um, a crossfire graphics or crossfire enable crossfire configuration. So we're going to actually start up. Windows here. This is Windows 8 that we are running on this system. Uh, we install Windows 8. 
and of course that is our lock screen okie dokie let's back up a little bit here so we can get a slightly better look so we'll go in here right click AMD vision control my server thing going up so you go to vision control and you want to go into performance I'm going to drag this in center here so you want to go to performance then you want to go to where it says uh, AMD radio and dual graphics and you want to enable AMD dual graphics which we have already and you want to apply that and you'll be running a crossfire configuration should get better big gaming performance and we'll do a we'll do a next video we'll do will be a, a gaming video on this rig just to see how it performs and we'll show you um you know what say a game like battlefield or something like that looks like uh of a crossfire of the amd uh, apu so that's pretty much it guys hopefully you enjoyed our build video you can see how it was to build the trinity apu with of course our gigabyte motherboard um, and also how to set up dual graphics there very simple uh, easy process uh, and uh, very solid build overall so if you have any questions or any comments let us know don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on twitter facebook and youtube it's all border work with two o's so this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment